Hello, and welcome to the sixth Knit and Kitten podcast. My name is Mallory, and I'm recording in Edmonton on timer time. I do that every time. Um, I don't even know what day it is. It's September 6th, and it's about 7.02 p.m. Yeah, so it's Thursday. Um, oh, this is going to be one of those days. Um, did um. Uh, in case you haven't watched any of my previous podcast episodes, I try not to say um. It is one of those things that really bothers me when people say it often. Well, not, it, it, not so much people as much as me. I like to work on my public speaking skills, and one of those pointers that they like to give you is don't say um. So... Now that that is all out of the way, again, my name is Mallory, otherwise known as Just a Dose of Love around the internet, so you can find me on Ravelry, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, and Instagram. That's everything? Yes, that's everything. I wrote it all down this time so I don't forget. And I am most active on Instagram. My Twitter, it like barely exists. I'm on Reddit occasionally. Facebook, also not so great. Need to work on that a little bit. And Ravelry, well, hit and miss. It doesn't help that they don't have an app, and I don't really use my laptop or a computer at home. So most of the stuff that I do online is just from my phone. So since my Instagram is my most phone-friendly version, that's why I use that the most. Not that any of this has anything to do with anything. Sorry. On with the Knit and Kitten podcast. So I should probably not say so as often either. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for putting up with my crazy. If you're a new viewer, I am kind of this crazy all the time, and I tend to ramble a little bit, so I do try and cut that down. Thanks for joining me. On to the actual podcast, where we talk about knitting and crafting and kind of generally just whatever crafty things I have on the go, so so I, I do sew. I sew a little bit, I knit a little bit, I craft in general. Is there anything else I do consistently? Hmm. I don't think so. Not so much. I used to draw a lot. I'm way off track. We're way off track here. I guess I kind of want to talk about last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So this, I, I like to have my podcast come out every two weeks. Try to do it on Thursdays or very early Friday morning once it finishes uploading to YouTube and finally gets up there because that does take some time. So last podcast was the cursed episode. It was awful. My camera fell twice at least, it died at least two times, and by the end of it I finally just gave up and I was just like, well, this is what you get. Sorry. So I'd like to apologize for that. My camera did charge all day today, so it is all charged. I have a square base now that my camera's sitting on instead of my round yoga mat, because that was a great idea, clearly not. Um, so I guess... Hopefully we're not going to have any of those issues and it's just going to be seamless until we hit the 20 mark where my camera decides that it can only take 20 minute chunks of video. By the way, if anyone knows how to stop it from doing that, it's really obnoxious and I hate having to start my timer and edit stuff together. Okay, way not what I want to talk about. What I do want to talk about is knitting. So we're just going to start with what's on my needles. Uh, not a whole lot right now. I have one sock that I'm working on. It's a pattern that I've kind of been thinking about for uh, probably about a, a month-ish. And it's called The Farmer's Daughter. I, I couldn't tell you why. I'd like to make my grandpa some socks and call them The Farmer. So these are The Farmer's Daughter and uh, this is just how it's going. And there's not actually enough of them f to, for you to really tell what's going on with the pattern. Well, I'm going to show you them anyways, because I really like the colors. And they're hanging out in my metal zipper bag, too. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Bee bag is easy. It's got bees on it. This is like, I don't know, a school... I don't know. This is just going to be metal zipper bag number two, unless someone has a better idea. So. Second metal zipper bag. There's my pattern. And here's my little sock. So... I knit all my socks on little circulars, so these are 2.5 mil, what is it, 9, 9 inch Addy circulars, 10, 8, I can't remember what Addies usually are. So here's my little 
my little sock, my little farmer's daughter sock, and it's going to be purple and green because I really like the green and I really like the purple and I don't think they go terribly together. So here is it so far. Here it is so far. Like I said, you, oh no, my stitch marker. How did that, oh, oh no. It's fine, I just lost one stitch. It was just a pearl. I wonder if I have something hanging around. Oh. That's the, that's the thing about the little circulars. You have to be a little more careful when you're dropping your stitches because it's harder to, your needle back to pick it up without losing more stitches in my in my opinion anyways so I'll talk about the yarn a little bit since I talked about the needles and you can't really see what the pattern is but next podcast you'll be able to see this is Malabrigo in their sock base and the green is the Fresco Yaseco colorway there and the purple is the Abril I really like the purple. It's got like blues to it. I really like this purple. This purple went into my impressionist shawl. And I think I think this will be enough for contrasting cuffs and toes. That should be more than enough for contrasting cuffs and toes. I'm a little iffy on the heels. I'll have to weigh them out when I get to that point and see how much I actually have left. And the Fresco Yaseco. I don't know, it's just this cute little green. It's got like almost a lighter yellowy green to it. Maybe you can see that. I may I just finished the socks that I don't actually have a name for yet in this colorway. If you saw that last podcast, I'm really proud of those socks. I even went for a walk in the River Valley to take pictures because I'm so proud. These ones might be the same, we'll see. We'll see how nice it is outside by the time I finish them because it's trying to be fall here. And the leaves are changing and fall is my favorite and I'm really excited, but I also, well, I, I prefer to be cold over being warm, but I get cold easy and I stay cold. I still prefer it to being stupid hot in the summer, but I don't really like venturing outside unless I am adequately bundled up. Socks, only thing on my needles right now. That was easy. Off my needles. I have two projects off my needles. The first one, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one first. So I was really jealous of Connor's hat. It's a hat pattern that I made for Connor, and I'm gonna call it Connor's hat pattern. So I was really jealous of Connor's hat, so I made myself a Connor's hat for Mallory with some Malabrigo. I'm pretty sure that's also Malabrigo, yeah. So Malabrigo Worsted, I think it's their Rio Space, and it's in the Tourmaline, which is this color, and the Sunset, which is this color, and I think it's kind of like pumpkin patch themed, because you get, well, this is, it has a bit of a green to it, so it's like dark pumpkin leaves and pumpkin. So it's got these little knot cables, in case you didn't see Connor's hat, and it's kind of slouchy. So, so... Oh god, that's going to start to bother me now, too. So here is my slouchy Connor set. And I love it. I've worn it already a couple of times. Not because it's super cold, but because it's kind of cold, and I really like my Connor set. So, Connor set for myself, Mallory's Connor set. That will probably have a call out for testers. Give it four weeks, if... If anyone wants to test the Connor's hat pattern, there will be a call out in three to four weeks. So, oh, that's really gonna bother me. So, I've gotta stop saying that. Hmm, it'll be a work in progress. Next, off my needles. I promised last time I'd try and have my Walk the Block Mystery Cal scarf finished. So, I finished it. So, so, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stop pointing it out at this from this point but yeah walk the block it was a mystery knit along by risen knits it started in june it finished up four weeks later i was really slow so i only finished it up sunday monday sunday i finished it up on sunday 
Maybe it was Monday. It doesn't matter when I finished it. What had been holding me back was the mattress stitching of this section here, so it ended right here, to this section here. So here's where my mattress stitch was. I think it's fine. This is my first time doing mattress stitch and I had no idea what I was doing. I think it's fine. Please don't criticize it. I'm not going to show it to you too close. So here's the end of it and this thing is massive. This thing spanned from my cupboards in the kitchen all the way just into the living room, which is huge. It, like, it, it spanned more than one room in my house. Ah! Uh, now it's on the floor. When it was blocking. So, <laughs> we all got to walk around the, the giant walk the block scarf while it was blocking. I better make sure I'm showing you the right side. I am. So that was the end. I'm just going to show it to you backwards. So, what I had used was my walk the... not walk block, my log house cottage advent calendar mini skeins because it calls for 10 mini skeins and I have like 14 from my advent calendar last year and they were all rainbow colored so my walk the block scarf is rainbow colored. Isn't it pretty? I think my favorite part, <laughs> it keeps going, it just keeps going. I think my favorite part is in this this section right here just the the really bright blue and the green I think that's my favorite I also really like the dark blue and the dark purple but the definitely this section for sure is my favorite which is interesting because orange and red are my favorite colors there's not a whole lot of orange in here though it's more like a, a light pink I wonder if I had more orange in there, because I think I had 14 mini skeins. Oh, and the case that I keep my mini skeins in, the camera's resting on, so I guess I can't even look right now. Alright. So, my walk the block scarf. I don't even know how to wear this thing. I got Chris to model it. Er, yesterday two days ago. I didn't know how to wrap it on him either. I can't see. Does that look okay? I don't know. I can't see myself. I'll see when I'm throwing this video together and editing. Maybe I look ridiculous. Inside with my knit hat and my scarf and it's warm already. Okay. Arr! I guess I'll take off my hat if I must. And my scarf. That's going to be a lot of fun to wear in the fall, though, and the winter, because it does get a little bit chilly in the office during the winter months. So I like to wear my shawls and my scarves and all that stuff. Well, I can't really wear a tube in the office, but if I could, I would. Projects three and four are not knitting, and they kind of tie into the rainbow fiddle that I'm going to talk about at the end, so I'm just going to wait until the end to talk about those. In the meantime, check the time, have a little drink break. Normally I drink tea. Today I'm not drinking tea. Today I'm drinking milk with boiled water and some wonderful peppermint mocha Kahlua. I didn't sleep well last night, so Nice warm drink. It'll hopefully put me to sleep tonight or help me sleep. Our fire alarm, the fire, the smoke detector in the hallway last night started chirping its dead battery, dead battery chirp at 3 a.m. this morning. By the time I put new batteries in, still didn't help, unplugged on the table I was not falling back asleep so I've been up since 3 a.m. I don't do very well in no sleep. I get all cranky and I have headaches and had a bit of a meeting this morning that I, I kind of mostly run or I ran part of it on my own anyways and I had to apologize to the guys and in advance and just like hey I, I'm sorry I didn't sleep well last night so if I if I'm a little snippy at you it's not you 
it's me, but apologies in advance. Yeah. Oh, and it's in my little knit mug. Tammy got Fermalinda and I these cute little knit mugs. I think it's my favorite knitting, well, it's my only knitting mug. I think it's one of my favorite mugs, though. It's big. My only bigger mug is an owl mug that I have that is like massive, but this one, this one's nice. Oh, sidetracked again, sorry. Back on topic. That's it for off my needles. Stash enhancement. I still have some things that I would like to show you because I like them. I have plans for them. Or actually, some of these I don't have plans for. So, I found a dyer on Etsy called Tactile Dactyl, which I think is just great. Tactile Dactyl, like a, like a pterodactyl, but tactile. Thanks. And she hand dyes yarn. Doesn't say, I'm pretty sure she's from the States. May 2018, Tactile Dactyl. That's her Etsy. Anyways, this is 75% superwash Corydale and 25% nylon so maybe socks maybe socks and I can't find colorway names anywhere I can't find it on her Etsy I don't see it on a tag that's fine but it is a fingering weight and that's our cute little logo little pterodactyl but I really like this because I really like orange so it's Kind of like a speckled orange. I'm not gonna unravel that because that's just I was just asking for trouble. But here it is. It's got orange and red speckles and some well I guess it's all more orange, but there's like hints of almost yellow. I think these will make really nice socks. I really like this here. That orange. That's a nice orange. I'm trying to, well, I don't know if I can really show this to you better. I really don't want to take it out of this scheme. I have a really hard time putting them back together. So I'll just show it to you a little closer. And turn it a little bit. Oh, 20 minute mark. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Tactile Dactyl. Stash Enhancement. Yes. So this is the second one that I got. Also no color name. And it also has orange speckles. But it also has blue. Err. In by having, you know, orangey, reddy, and blue. It's kind of got some purples to it. So I'll just show this to you. That seems like an easier way to do that. I'm still going to look into maybe being able to say colors better some color theory or education so I'm not just stuck with orangey purpley blue I'm saying the same words to you over and over again so tactile tactile maybe socks could be a bit of a shawl too I don't really know I know they say that you're supposed to have a plan when you buy yarn I'm really bad at that I yeah, I, I'm bad at that. I need to start maybe doing that more, but I like having all the yarn, and it makes me feel like I'm maybe a little bit limiting my possibilities. If I have a plan for all of it, you have to have some extra yarn, so, you know, if the fancy strikes, you could just start something unexpected, right? So we're just going to say that, and then I can have more yarn. This, this was one of those yarns. I didn't know why I bought it. So this is Stash Enhancement yarn number three. Also from Etsy. No, maybe not Etsy. It might have been. Eh, it doesn't really matter. The Sheepy Shire. I either found her on Etsy or on Instagram. I'm not sure. But it was definitely Instagram. This is her pumpkin latte colorway. And I love pumpkins and I love fall. And I got this last year in time for pumpkins and fall, but I didn't do anything with it yet. However, now I have a plan for it. 
And while we're talking about colors, I really, really love how it has the, the browns and the oranges kind of in chunks, but then it also has these chunks of speckled. It kind of makes me think of cookies and cream. No! Why did that happen again? Ah. I thought I had a solid plan. Apparently I don't have a solid plan. I just need a better stand for my camera, but the way that it's sitting with the window, it would be really hard to get a little stand in there. Clearly I need to figure something else out because I'm having the, you know, camera falling down problem again. I was gushing over how much I really like these speckles. They kind of look like Oreos in ice cream or cookie. Well, not cookie dough, but those maybe those cookies and cream Hershey bars. That's what this reminds me of, especially right there. Hopefully it's focusing and you can see it. I'm going to talk about this again in a couple minutes, but this is also one of my stash enhancements. It is her staple sock, thin grain weight, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it's a 100 gram ball scheme. Yes. And that's all I'm going to talk about for stash enhancement right now. I'm going to touch back on that in a minute, but quick upcoming housekeepers. The call it for test knitters for the runner spirit hat that I made my mom went out yesterday and they are going to start on Monday. So that's exciting and a little terrifying and every time that happens I, I get a little a little anxious but it'll be fine. Or it won't be fine and then all the issues will get fixed and th then it'll be fine. That's how it goes. But it'll be fine now. It's gonna be great. We're gonna fix all the problems. Enough of that. Other stuff. Vending at Rainbow Fiddle. I had kind of started talking about it last podcast and then my camera died. And you, you know, we've talked about it enough that first episode. So now I'm going to talk about it again, but I'm going to cut it down a little bit. So Rainbow Fiddle, Central Alberta Music Festival, Smoky Lake area. Tamara and I were vendors. She made some really neat necklaces with resin. We, we've been doing some like resin pouring and stuff like that. And what else did she have? She had some devil sticks that she made. I definitely talked about that last time. What did I make? I made bags and bracelets. Like I said, I do like to sew. So I made, I don't know, like 15 bags. Not project bags. Just these simple little like over the shoulder bags. Nothing fancy, kind of cute. Definitely good for a festival. I'm just going to show you some of the fabrics that I had. So there were two different sizes. This is the smaller one, and this is a bigger one. The, the size difference isn't, isn't huge, but clearly there's a bit of a difference there. And they're all black on the inside. No zippers or anything, but just a nice little sling bag, good for carrying water, probably not money because you don't want it to fall out, but water, bug spray, sun, not suntan lotion, sunscreen. Who would, I wouldn't want a tan, I would like to protect my, protect my skin from the sun. Sunscreen. Maybe little trinkets, whatever. I'm just going to show you the different fabrics that I have. So there is that one. Mara traded me the bigger one for a set of poi that she was selling, so I think we both came out win-win on that. I like poi. These poi are cool. They light up. I need to learn how to spin them better. I'll get there. It's a work in progress. And then there's this one. The fabric may look a little familiar. It is the same fabric I used on the top half of my zipper bag number two. There's this pattern that I really like as well. There's just so much going on. I don't even I don't even know what's going on here. There's just so much going on. Like this is this is definitely doodle fabric. There's that one. And probably my favorite. The fox. Foxes and glasses. Smart fox. So cute. Yep, this is definitely my favorite one. My favorite fabric. I think I need to make myself maybe a metal zipper 
project bag with the fox fabric if I have enough left. I think that's a great idea. Looks and some glasses. And it was great. So we, we did vend. I sold some bags. She sold a lot more stuff than I did because her stuff's amazing. And it, it was a lot of fun. I got to knit. We got to hang out. Fun times are had by all. At the second, third, third, at another festival that we went to, Astral Harvest, I talked about the unicorn horns that I made. So I actually made sure I had it this podcast so I could show it to you. And I'm just going to show it to you. So I made us these little unicorn horns. And it's hard to see them if you don't know they're there, but there's actually rocks and like gem, gemstone-ish looking rocks. There's rocks on them. So one, two, three, four, five, six on either side, and then these ones along the bottom. And I'm just going to show you a little closer because I really think they're neat. And then a whole bunch of fake flowers and our unicorn horn. Hopefully that's all in focus, and a whole bunch of glitter. It's like, yeah, glitter's great. Let me just make some, like, watered-down glue and brush it with this. And then glitter everything. So glitter is all over the bag that I kept it in. But, oh well. And here is my unicorn horn. Well, I wonder if, well, if you couldn't see it before, you do now. My unicorn horn. I love it. There's very few places I can actually wear it without making a fool of myself, but I do love it. Unicorn horn. So we have mat. Oh, they're not matching, but you can tell they're basically the same unicorn horns. Hers has a couple less stones and a little less flowers. I overdid a little bit on mine with the flowers and the glitter. What else do I want to talk about? Crochet class. So I took crochet class. I start. I took a four night crochet class spread out over six weeks because I wanted to learn how to crochet. It's I don't understand it. Well, I understand a little bit better now. Look at the time. Um, I do understand it better now. And by the end of it, we actually started last week on a pair of slippers that we now have all the skills to make. So that's what my plan is for this beautiful pumpkin latte yarn. I'm gonna make some slippers. I'm gonna crochet them. And I need to start because we're getting together again the end of this month to work on our slippers some more. So I need to make sure I start soon enough that I don't forget how to do everything because last time we were supposed to have a swatch ready to make sure our gauge was right for that class for our slippers and I there was four weeks in between the previous class and last class and I, I couldn't remember how to start a second row I, I just couldn't for the life of me remember how to do it now I still kind of have it better make sure I, I start while I still remember in the meantime I've been making granny squares that I remember how to do so here's, that's not my full stack of granny squares, but here are my granny squares. Just cute little granny squares. They're easy. I can do them whenever, wherever. It, it's a lot more mindless than knitting, so if I'm out and I have to pay attention to some stuff, it's, it's easier, which is great. And I already, I already, I do have a plan for all my granny squares. Chris is going to get a blanket, a Spider-Man blanket. So eventually I'm going to have enough granny squares that he can have a Spider-Man blanket. It's, it's like a forever project. It's going to take forever, but someday, someday I'll be a granny square blanket. Is that it? Is that all I wanted to talk about? And before I run out of space on my camera, Probably, probably cut it pretty quick. My my camera. I need to get a better memory card. The my camera said I had 16 
minutes and 58 seconds this time instead of the full 20. I guess that's it. That is really it. Let me make sure. One more time. Sorry, I know it's a little obnoxious. That's it. That is it. Awesome. We made it through relatively unscathed. Camera only fell once. Nothing died. Overall, I feel like 7 out of 10 podcast. Yeah, I think that was good. If you stuck around the whole time, thank you. I I hope you enjoyed it. I, I enjoy it. I definitely get a little off track and ramble a little too much. and say so too often and then call myself out on it too frequently. But work in progress? That's... It's kind of what the knitting world is, right? It's constantly a work in progress. Can't get better at them. If you don't work on them, definitely, you know, you're not going to start a shawl for your first project. I'm rambling again. I'm just going to cut it off here. Thanks for hanging out. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to hang out again, aiming for Thursdays, every second Thursday, on YouTube, Typically I will have a post go up on Instagram as well. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I said that too many times. Thanks for hanging out. I'm probably going to edit out the last two times I said that. But darn. Let's talk about my garnets. And I didn't. Next time. I even have them sitting right here. Next time.